Hello everybody, how's it going? I just came back from watching Top Gun Maverick and I loved that movie. I thought it was very nostalgic. I thought it was a nice feel-good type of film. Everything about it was enjoyable. Now I did want to talk about fragrances to wear to the movie theaters because I feel like this is more of a miss than it is a hit and let me explain. So the time before this when I went to the movies, I believe I was watching Batman and the guy in front of me was blasting with some Dior Sauvage and like if you want to wear Sauvage I would totally recommend it for nights out even days out right but like to the clubs things like that but wearing it in a confined space where it's projecting can definitely irritate people even if it smells good it kind of just gets distracting and you're kind of forcing everybody there to smell your fragrance and if you're thinking well, I'm not forcing them, they can leave at any time. That's a bit inconsiderate, just because they did pay to watch the movie and it would suck if they paid to watch a movie and they just leave because there is somebody with no, like, you know, they can't read the room. There's like that type of person in the room just blasting with a long lasting, high projecting sort of fragrance. It's just, I don't know, it's tone deaf. You know what I'm saying? So what I would recommend is wearing a fragrance that's more subtle way more like much more close to your skin so today i decided to rock molecule one before i left and this does have good projection but it only projects nicely when you're active and i knew i was going to be sitting down for over two hours so i wasn't tripping about it and this definitely stayed close to me i was the only one that could smell it even the person next to me could not smell this fragrance and i liked that right so this is a unisex scent. Another fragrance I would recommend on the feminine side is Passe Soir by BDK. But yeah, that one doesn't have the best performance. I only really noticed how good the performance was after I oversprayed it. So you don't have to worry about overspraying that when you go to the theaters, you can do a couple sprays and it's gonna just stay in your scent bubble or just not even in your scent bubble less, like just like on, on your skin, you know what I mean? A, a masculine one, I recommend is Lone by YSL but to be totally honest like this is a masculine fragrance this is like a unisex fragrance disguised as a masculine scent it's very gingery in fact I remember when I wore this one time my mom thought I was wearing an Estee Lauder perfume but yeah this is just nice intimate and if you're thinking wait what if I'm on a date I still want my date to smell me <laughs> I had like what the heck I still want my date to smell me and I would say hey you know what if you're wearing a soft intimate sort of fragrance and your date is cuddling into you or you're cuddling into them they'll definitely be able to smell you and it won't be in an obnoxious way you know they'll smell you when they get closer when they put their head on your chest or you put your head in their neck whatever the case is they'll be able to be like oh yeah that's nice and it won't be too much for them as well. And it definitely won't be too much for the people in the row in front of you or a couple rows in front of you. So please just have some courtesy when you're going to these places that don't have a window that you can open up and air out the room with, right? So just read the room, keep it subtle. If you wanna keep a travel sized fragrance in your bag, in your pocket, you can if you want, but most movies, like don't even last over three hours. And with these scents, they perform around three hours, sometimes four hours. So even if you go to dinner afterwards, the fragrance is still gonna be on you and it's not gonna be a problem, all right? So I'll put the names of the fragrances and the links in the description. But if you've seen Maverick, let me know in the comment section. If you have your call sign, let me know too, because I feel like I posted something on my other platforms about this. And people were like, yeah, after I watched that movie, me and my friends all had call signs, all that sort of stuff. And it's just, I don't know, I love it. I'm geeking out over it. But anyways, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.